What's up guys? It's me. I'm back and today we're playing A Taste of the Past. Let's go. I recommend finishing this game in one sitting. A playthrough should last about 30 minutes. Hey. Well. So soy sauce, sesame seeds, some type of mushrooms, noodles, carrots, sugar, some sauce? Reading list is indistinguishable. The pages are weathered and torn. Proof of generations of recipes passed down. Mom used to prop the recipe book on the kitchen counter as she made me scallion pancakes before class. Hot pot for special occasions. Noodle, long noodles for my long noodles for my birthday. My first boot birthday without her. I begged, you, I begged for the recipe growing up, but she always reassured me that it was mom's secret. We used to make dumplings together every Sunday afternoon to make my fingertips into water to peel, to, 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 to connect the peel. And the fresh smell of chives as the, as the gyoza hit the, hit the hot oil. I can't remember the last time we cooked together. We eventually only put Put thought into our cooking for the work for work hot pot for work potlucks. Looking for people who've never heard of chili black bean sauce. Dad never understood our love for for yoti, uh, yotiao. How we how we meticulously dip the dough into into kanji. I knew her less and less. Hearing about her about her day through eavesdropping on phone calls. Of course, you're not that you're not that when you're when I need you're not there when I need you most. Am I falling asleep? Oh, oh. Oh. I can't I can't believe I fell asleep. I bet I missed my stop. Where is everyone? Am I dead? Is there nobody else on the train anymore? I'm gonna fall back asleep. saw you, you were just a couple feet tall. I thought it'd be years before we met again. What's going on? I thought you were dead. Oh, May, I'm so sorry. Your mother left you too soon. You know about that? What is this place? I found her, May. Even though it's been so long since your great-grandma gra great -grandma died, I still remember it clearly. I saw her everywhere. I kept reliving all of, all of these memories I had once forgotten. I understand now. I understand how you must feel. Wait, Mom's here? Where can I find her? There's so much I need to tell her. Go see her when you're ready. Uh, ask about Mom. Why can't I see her now? Where is she? Mom misses you. Have you been eating? You look thinner than I remember. Why does any of that matter? She's gone and I'm talking to my dead grandma. I have something I must tell you before you go. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Do you remember the first time you swam? When I was six? I used to take you to the swimming pool every every Friday after elementary school. You complained every time that your mom wasn't there. But she was cooking dinner for us. When I made it to the deep deep end for the first time, your mom made when you made it to, when you made it to the deep end for your first time, your mom your mom made you mapo to, mapo to Tofu, your favorite at the time. She loves you. You haven't been here for the past few years. She wasn't there then. She's not here now. She has been there all of your life. Even if you didn't see it now. Even if you don't see it now. You know it's my birthday, right? Where is she for that? She's dead. Um. I know, I know you must feel hurt. But she sacrificed so much to so much to make sure 
sure you were in, you were cared for. Moving to America, giving up her dreams. If you want to take, if you want to take one thing from her, it's to love even when no one's watching. But how am I supposed to know she she loves me if I don't see it? It's everywhere around her. You waking up early to talk. It's her waking up early to take you to school. Working extra shifts to pay for your art classes. She never passed down any of her recipes, though. She didn't want to. She wouldn't want to about. She didn't want you to worry about cooking, so you could focus on school. Take this list and go to the fridge. I promised your mom I'd give you this. What is it? It's been a while, May. I'm happy to see you again. Your grandmother d hasn't been feeling well since. since well, since your mother, since your mother joined us, it wasn't her time yet. You can tell me what's going on. I'm sorry. Can you tell me what's going on? I'm sorry, but not yet. I never thought. I never thought I'd get to talk to you again. You know. You know they say that you're. What you know? You know you what? You know they say you'll have all the time to sleep when you're dead. My grandma still wakes me up in the morning to share the latest, the latest family gossip. Sounds like her. So you live here, and grandma lives here too? I guess you could say that. How are you holding up? I can't stop thinking about mom. I can really get up in the morning. Remembering her is a part of accepting that she's gone. You'll remember her when, when you hear her favorite song on the radio, or when you set, set the table for dinner. But it'll also hit you when when you see something beautiful and wish you could tell her. The truth is, you will never stop grieving for her, but you will learn to celebrate her life by cherishing those memories. I can't bring myself to delete her voicemails. I try to remake her food, but all my recipes I found are, are never as good as hers. Soon you'll learn soon you'll learn how to carry her how, how to carry her with you with you properly. But for now, I want to you, I want to know more about you. I haven't seen you since you finished middle school. How have you been? Uh, talk about dad. Let's just say dad only knows how to make microwave meals. Microwave meals. Oh dear, I'll have to keep that one myself. Your mom would come back back to life to divorce your father if she heard that. <laughs> He asked me about school, but it feels like we're trying to fill up the space mom took up. Mom was took up. The scared home never be what your mom was. We're all afraid. We're all afraid we won't be enough. We're all afraid we don't won't be enough. I fucking can't. Yeah. That doesn't change when you become an adult. So how is school? It's been awkward. Everyone in class is up. Everyone in class already walks actually mom walks in eggshells around me. I got sent home from class last week for crying. Everyone asked me if I was okay, and I was like, no, I'm just a kid, and I'm my mom's dad. Then they started crying. So then I started comforting them, even though I'm the one with the dead mom. They were like, I can't imagine what I'd do if my mom was dead, but I don't have to imagine. I'm going to mind before the rest of my life that my mom's dead. Every holiday when I get married, when people ask what my parents do, Thanksgiving is coming up, and I don't want to see everyone celeb spending the time with their parents, even though mom and I don't even do anything for Thanksgiving. It's the fact that I'll, I'll know what, I'll know what, not never be, and now I'm better that about people who, who did nothing wrong to be, to be, to be, to me besides be happy. Your feelings may not be necessary necessarily right. They're human. Your mom's spending, your, your mom's passing is going to be painful and awkward and selfish. That's okay. I promise you you're holding up. Holding up as any person would. And one day, your classmates are going to understand where you're coming from. Take care of yourself, May. We're all thinking of you. Oh. Oh, what's this? Ah, oh, the fridge. Oh! Noodles? 
mushrooms, celery. This sucks. Oh, I did. Okay, I forgot the list. I'm blind. Is there a stove? Hi, have I met you before? You look familiar. Hey, is that you? Who are you? I haven't seen you in since we're a baby, and your great grandmother. I think Mom showed me a picture of you once. Hopefully, it was a flattering picture. How are you? I don't know. Have you had the funeral yet? It was last week. I took my sister to the mall to shop for a black dress, and it was it was weird. Like, what am I supposed to say when the, when the sales associate asked me? Looking for anything in particular today? And it's not just that. Who's going to take me to 99 Ranch? Who's going to watch scary, scary movies with me? Part of me doesn't want to be happy because because that will mean I've accepted her death. That's what your mom would want you to, you to do. Be happy. I reconnected with your mother recently. All she talks about is you. Do you want to hear what she said? Yes. She said that she could not be more proud of you. She told me about how about, about your robotics club and how you made it to finals. How boldly you paint your love for 80s music. She remembers all of all of these things about your life. That's how you know she loves you. I didn't know she felt that way. You think that everyone everyone goes you think that if everyone goes for loss, there that we'd have a better way to cope. We have the stages of grief to guide us, but grief doesn't know it's supposed to be linear. I know like I'm going through the four stages all at once. You can take all the time you need. I wish we had more time so I could get, get to know you better. I should let you go. Hi, you must be my great grandpa. You want to be me? I need to ask. How be how is being a how's being a teenager in your time? Kind of terrible. Sounds like sounds like things haven't changed then. I'm sorry about your mother, but let's get get your mind off that, okay? We need to talk about something else. Anything you want me to talk about? What is it like being dead? As far as I can tell, you're all the same things. You what? As far as I can tell, you're all the same things you were when you were alive. I still tease your great grandmother about her ugly sweaters. I still share my war stories for whoever will listen. Is it lonely here? Do you miss the real world? I don't. Sp I don't mind it here. I don't mind it here. I get the. I get. The, I get to spend as much time as I want with people who I love. Although I do miss my pigeon friends at the park. I should ask you. What makes you happy? Going on walks in the neighborhood with my mom. Falling asleep to the sound of rain. Listening to throwback songs in the car. It's good. Small things are always worth holding on to. I have to be completely honest with you. I had a complicated relationship with the great grandma, great 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 grandparents. You'll meet them on the next train car. They're interesting people. It wasn't until they passed that I understood them. After my dad died, I had to pick up my things from my childhood, and it was it was only then I realized how similar we were. Never getting the familiar roles in my in my neighborhood, working to provide for my family, wondering what my purpose was. You're lucky you had this bond when your mom was alive. Losing her isn't lucky. She was barely there when she was alive. You'll learn more about your mother as you grow older, and you'll understand what I mean. The train is quite dirty. Before you go, why don't you wash your hands before you before you travel further? Uh, flick and hold to wash your hands. Oh. But I want to go over the line. Okay. 
Hey, kid. I heard you needed a ticket to ride the train. I... What? I'm just messing with you. Just something us great uncles do. I'm still confused about how this train works. Am I going deeper and deeper in time? Each car houses a generation, and you, my dear, have reached the best part of the train. I wouldn't take your great-grandparents -gr too seriously, though. Especially your great-grandfather. You've been telling me the same story from the war, th war for decades now. What is my purpose here? What are these ingredients for? Shouldn't it be obvious from how everyone's talking to you? My mom? She left she left something for you she left something for all of us to give you. Why me though? Why not dad? Because you're her great because you're her daughter. From the day you were born, you became her world. Also because having kids means finally someone someone will laugh at your jokes. That doesn't last long. That doesn't last long though. Were you a parent? I am. You never stop being a parent, even when you're dead. My wife was pregnant. I was terrified. When my wife was pregnant, I was terrified. I felt like I should have prepared more, had more patience, had more money, and knew her. I knew more. But then my son was in my well, then my son was in my arms, and I knew everything was going to be okay. That's what being a parent is. Being okay as long as your kid is. Is that how mom felt? I'm sure of it. You read every book and consulted every doctor, and you still won't feel at ease until your child is safe. I wish mom could see see me now and tell me everything. Everything is going to be okay. There's still so much left for me to do, and she can't guide me through any of it. What's left? Tell me what you have to do. I haven't even finished high school. I have to fall in love, get my heart broken, go through an emo phase, find myself, work at a work at the bookstore down the that down the street like I've always dreamed of. I have to paint something greater than I've ever done before. One day you will do all of these things. We'll be there, cheering on, cheering you on. People tell people tell me I would people told me I wouldn't be famous. But look, I'm in a video game. Good, huh? Don't worry about it. Told <laughs> me to give you these noodles. He said you had... You can boil them in the stove before you go. Okay. Uh, set the temperature to... Oh. Select the right temperature. There you go. Now, go to 110. Then back to... Okay. Noodles! I guess that's it. Ma'am. Hi, May. I'm... Uh... Jen? Something. I don't remember. I should know this. Your grandmother told me that you were an artist. I'd like to hear more about you. I'd like to hear about your art. About what art... Bleh. I'd like to hear about what art you do. Fuck. <laughs> you paint watercolor portraits. And what have you done recently? I did a painting of mom and me. She's the sun and I have the moon. And you can't have one without the other. I made it for Mother's Day, but mother never got to see it. You must really care for your mo mom then. I just wanted her to notice me. I sort of didn't think she always did. I don't know if everyone's told you, but I used to paint as well. I did traditional brush paintings on mountains and trees. Paintings. Painting's the only time I feel like my own self. No one tells no one tells me how I'm supposed to tells to so, No one tells me how I'm supposed to feel. If you've written poetry on your paintings, that's what I used to do in, in my time. I'd I'd sometimes write it write my own or use someone's work. That's the name. I only have I only ever write poetry in my journal. I'm not poetic or anything. How about you try now? 
Try to pull my painting. Uh, here goes nothing. There was a girl whose, whose mother gave her a paintbrush. She saw that. She saw that could. She saw what could be. She saw that. She saw all that could be on the blank canvas. The sweet whistles of the wind. Pink sunrise were falling in love too. A daughter and mother growing old together. She saw what could no longer be. A mother who left too early and left too little behind. Stole all the beautiful colors. Until the stars left their light. She saw everything she once was. Everything she lost. Are you sure this is your first time doing poetry? Shopping board! Okay, pick up the knife and chop the veggies. Put the knife back where you found it. So cute. Everyone's been talking about you. I'm also the words I don't know. Hi, Faith. Nice to meet you. I heard about your mom. It's going to be hard, but you need to take care of your sister. Your dad is busy with his job. She lost your mom. She lost her mom too. She needs her older sister to be there for her. I, I know, uh, but I'm barely holding myself. Barely holding on myself. Look, loss doesn't come easy. My mom died when I was five. But your grandma grandma made sure you could you could have a better life in America. And you shouldn't throw that away because your mother because your mom is gone. I need to take responsibility for, you need to take responsibility for your sister. I'm trying. It doesn't have to be much. Just to make sure she's she's had dinner and finished her homework. Do you understand? I guess. You're lucky that you have food on the table. Back in my day, we only ate three meals, like yours, for, for New Year's. But that's because they've gone through. That's because you've gone through. Just because you've gone through that doesn't mean I can't suffer, too. You need to understand the value of work. I don't like this man. Your dad has to pay for your art classes by himself now. Haven't you considered that? But my mom, but mom put me in painting classes, and it's one of the only things that makes me happy. Listen, listen. I want, I just want what's best for you. Think about it, okay? You're a bitch. Oh, puzzle. Cooking. There we go. We cook. How far am I going? He's asleep. You sure know how to keep a lady waiting. Is this the last train? We can keep exploring, but no one else knows know a thing about making noodles. You, you know how to make the long noodles? You mean longevity noodles? I'm the one who created the original recipe, but I'm missing one of the ingredients. All I know is that your mother told me to give you this. Which woody ear mushroom she remembered. I feel terrible. Of course she did, she's your mom. The long, the long noodles represent a long life, a long life. That's why you ate it on your birthday. This is your mother. This is your mother's final gift to you, a reminder of your, of your Chinese heritage. You can't get through this, May. Your mom told me you're a strong. You can get through this, May. Your mother told me that you're a strong woman. People keep telling me that that after she died, I didn't do anything. T tell me that after she died, but I didn't do anything. 
I just begged the universe, my friends, whatever god there might be, that she would come back. I wish I knew where dad, I wish I knew right where dad's favorite, favorite udon noodles are. I wish I knew how to celebrate my identity, like how she did, knowing the right amount of sesame or to add to wontons. Navigating 99 Ranch like my home, preserving my culture for the next generation. Not living in an empty house of, of people who forgot mom, forgot mom as she was, spirited and wise. Who taught me how, who taught me how to hold the brush. But you did, but you did do something. You're carrying on her heritage and taking care of yourself. That's what she would have wanted. What do you want to do now? I want to go home. I don't know where my, I don't know why my mom brought here. I'm thankful for all your advice. My dad probably wants me home that, home soon. After you've mixed the noodles, you you're, you've done all that you need, need to do. There's a bolt at the end of the train. Carefully. Ah, oh, shit. Happy birthday, May. I can't believe you're here. So much has happened ever since you left. I need you back. You know I can't leave. But why did it have to be so soon? Why couldn't you stay for my graduation or be there for my robotics final? I wish I could have stood by you through all of those moments. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I never appreciated how you took extra shifts to put me through art class. I'm sorry I don't help Dad enough. I'll do anything for you back, please. You don't have to be sorry for anything. Do you remember the first time I made you noodles? You were in the third grade, so small and curious. The store ran out of bean sprouts and you suggested wood ear mushrooms. From then on, that ingredient became our tradition. Our cultural heritage is shaped by these small moments. You've always been a part of that. I'm everything I am today because of you. I never thanked you for making kanji for me when I was sick, or for believing in my paintings. Don't worry. Just knowing that I'll always be in your heart brings me peace. Thank you, Mom, for everything. I wish we could have dinner together one last time. I'm sorry for leaving so soon. You did more than enough for me. You were the greatest mom I could have asked for. May, I want you to keep painting. Ask Dad to take you to that New Order concert. Live like you did before my passing, spirited and open. I don't know if I can do that without you. I'll always be with you. <clears throat> it looks like this is your stop. I love you. Always. I love you too. Goodbye, Mom. Six years ago? Oh, scoop us. Small spoonful of mixture in the center. In the center. Then use then use your spoon to connect the wrapper. Like this. But how do we add the soup? So the filling will become the soup. All you have to do is wrap the rest the rest of these and steam them. Wanna try? Cute. No, go. 
That's perfect. I knew my girl was a fast learner. After dinner, can we go to the pool? Ask Grandma. She can take you. But I want to go. But I want you to go with me. I should clean up after dinner. Please, pretty please. Oh, how about this? If you clean up with me, we'll all go together. Yes. Grandma's mommy said that she would go to the pool with us today. Don't go so fast. We need, we need to finish our. We, we have to finish the, these dumplings first. Where did you learn so, to make such yummy, yummy food? Your grandma taught me. Who taught grandma? Her mom taught her. One day you'll teach our kids. I want to talk. I want to talk to you about school tomorrow. You're you're starting sixth grade. Uh, don't remind me. Middle school is going to be even more challenging. But I know that you can get through it. I was looking through I was looking through my stuff today when I found a card you wrote me and you wrote me when you were in second grade. Your teacher had you all write letters for Mother's Day. You said you were lucky to be to have me as your mom. But really I'm the lucky I'm lucky to have you. I get to have a little girl who's the brightest person in every room. Us moms were always thinking about how pe how to, how we raise our kids. How to raise our kids better. How we can raise our kids better. If, if our kids will be good pe people or uh, eh. Am I a good person? Yes. Except when you stole your sister when you stole your sister's toy. What you do with her stuff with that koala? Hey, she stole my doll first. You asked the question, didn't you? May, don't forget how brightly you shine. You see the world with all this care. Don't let that go. You really think so? Of course. I want you to know how much I love you. Is all. Oh. Noodles. Um, soy sauce. Two. I went to 99 Ranch the other day, my first time there without you. Did you feel emotional the first time you came to America? You must have been so excited to find an Asian supermarket and not just one exotic shelf in the grocery store. I walked past the aisles, the lychee jellies used to buy me as a kid, the grandmas gossiping at the produce section. All those times I used to sneak Hello Panda in our shopping cart. I didn't know what brand of Udon to buy. I tried to call you, but you couldn't answer. Then a lady came up to me. She grabbed Udon off the shelf and told her daughter, This one is my favorite. And just like that, I knew you were watching over me. I don't know how things are going to change, but I'll keep painting. I'll help Dad take care of Amy. I'll take everything you've given me and continue to love our family. I'm hopeful for the future. And all it took was a taste of the past. Aww. Okay. 
All right, guys, that was a taste of the past. This is a really cute game. It was really sweet. I really liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed too. And if you did, stuck stick around to the end. Then maybe you should subscribe so you can see more of these games. And if you have any recommendations, then please give them to me down in the comment section. I am running out of games to play. Okay.